But he's going to have to obviously get through uh, Corp here first. Nice name change. All right, let's switch scenes over here. Let's get into this gameplay. Check out this. Uh, I didn't see if he's playing Gardevoir or Libre. Libre. I, I don't know. I feel like, I mean, overall, I'd say Utah's a stronger player than Corp because of how much experience Utah has over Corp. But I don't know if, how I feel about Mewtwo versus uh, Libre. Uh, so, yeah, I think people need to really respect uh, Libre counterattack a lot more than a lot of people do. There we go, Except see. if you're already standing. Then you can grab it, but it's honestly one of the faster counterattacks in the game, so I, I expect most people to eat it if they're trying to do anything. But I think... I feel like Corp should definitely have the matchup if you were to be a little more patient. Like, he seems like he wants to press buttons all the time. And he really should. You have to play patient versus sleep, right? Yeah, and Utah does a really good job of being the right amount of aggressive. He was kind of forced to learn. Because I, uh, I played a bunch of his sleep, right? And I started beating the hell out of it. Okay. Yeah, you just... It would have been better for Corp to cross up, uh, jump bar to cross up, and JY. There we go. He's hitting the vulnerable frames, which is good, but again, um, Utah's throwing out a lot of counters, so Corp should really play a little bit more patient here. And just kind of take more of a passive, watch what he's doing kind of approach. Standard, pretty pretty standard Libra combos, but Corp I think was a little too anxious to try and throw something out to try and beat it. But I think he threw out just a neutral Y, which light hits, so it's obviously gonna eat a lot of stuff there. <laughs> um, I'd like to see corporate pay, corporate uh, play this a little more patiently. I think that'll help him overall in the long run, especially since uh, Mewtwo has a bigger health bar. Um, sit back. He needs to eat wine. Libre more. She's in the air a lot. First time, just eat wine. Well, from what I've noticed with Utah's Libre too is that he doesn't really approach from the air too much. My fault. A lot of it is grounded approaches. Ooh, that uh, was a really weird interaction. Is that only because 8Y lasts so long? His 8Y, yeah. Okay. I honestly didn't think that it would hit a grounded Libre the way it does. There we go. Yeah, I think he should definitely watch the, the grabs a little more. Especially, that's Libre's main approach tool here, is that counterattack Utah that keeps using, that's all he's approaching with. I hear he thought, you know, he was gonna see three grabs in a row, but. And he knows that that's not a true combo, so he can just get in the middle. I think uh, something everybody should learn from playing this game is knowing that your neutral Y combo won't always true combo, so instead just do two hits, and if you see a block, just block and return. I mean, obviously, some characters might be the exception to this, but... Good job taking away that uh, synergy. You can see Corp definitely didn't need that to press that. I'm assuming that's as safe as fast as that grab. Yeah, I... Libre's grab's really good option against anything. That seems minus in this game. But that was definitely a good option. Don't know about that follow up. You should have just stuck in one. There we go. 
He should stop. Okay. That was good, but he should stop pressing buttons. Yeah, but I, I really feel like he's just pressing too many things. And he really should tone that back a little bit more. I mean, he can try and pull this out, but it's going to be incredibly difficult, especially with uh, double, double buff. Yes, Fire Punch and Field does exist. 